Hi everybody, my name is Liam Phillips and um, uh, Gabrielle is my cat uh, from New Zealand. G'day mate, how you going? G'day, oh, I'm good, you? <laughs> yeah, they're hanging well mate. Yeah. You've been in Australia too long. <laughs> Never hanging. Mate. <laughs> mate. Yeah. So we won't go for those New Zealand Australian jokes. They're terrible. Yeah, what are we doing today, today, today? We're talking about money. Sorry? We're talking about money. Oh, okay. Money, money, money. Yeah, I'm a bit over talking about money. How many of you guys are over talking about money? What if we actually change things about money? Um, and that's one of the things I wanted to look at in this, you know, half an hour chat on our number three of Kiwi Conversations in Consciousness. Um, it's sort of like how many people talk about money, talk about the, the desire to have more money, talk about what they're going to do about money, talk about what they would do if they had money, and they never choose it. So um, tonight, I'd like to invite you all, if you do have a question, if you do have a point of view that you want to have cleared, please either type it in or shout out. Um, you can just say, shut the fuck up, Liam. Oops. You can just say, shut what? the hell up, Liam. I want to talk. What do you know? <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, one of the things I was driving into Canberra today, um, and it was... Uh, it was about uh, five o'clock in the morning. I wanted to get through Sydney before, you know, the traffic. And um, I was going, oh, what shall I have for breakfast? And I, I went, I, I want the most delicious sausage roll and the best cup of coffee ever. And um, then about three hours later, I, or maybe two hours later, I pulled over into this uh, little junction to go to a, to McDonald's because I couldn't find anything else. And then it said, go here for McDonald's, go here for McDonald's, go here. For... And I got, I'm not following this. So I just turned up. I just turned off. I was really upset and angry. And then I was on the, a road that I didn't know where I was going. And I looked round, and there is a sign saying Heather Bray's pies. And it's quite a famous yeah. shop in, uh, in Sydney. And so I went in there and it was the most delicious sausage roll and the best coffee I have ever had so far. Now, what has that got to do with money? Well, we're going to have a look at some of the steps of how I created that delicious sausage roll and the best cup of coffee. One, I asked for it without having a point of view about how or where it was going to show up or what that would look like. And I didn't really care whether it showed up or not. I was willing to go and have McDonald's if that's all that was available. Two, I then put into that choice into some sort of action. The action was drive my car to Canberra. Yeah. So a lot of people think that an, uh, an action is something that you have to do that is directly related to the thing that you're trying to create. And what, what occurs there is, is that you become very invested in the outcome. You know, cause if I had been, okay, okay, where am I going to drive to get this cup of coffee? Uh, where am I, you know, where, where am I going to get this sausage roll? Okay. Do I get my Google out now and start Googling best, you know, most delicious sausage roll on the planet? You know, that's, that you've already invested in the outcome and you already started to, to push that um, possibility out of your reality because you're focusing your attention on the outcome and not expanding your capacities into infinite possibilities. So the next thing, the next thing that I did was um, I followed the energy and I felt now I didn't go. Okay, so I'm going to follow the. I'm going to follow my nose to the sausage roll because I can smell it. I'm going to follow the energy to the to the sausage roll. It was just sort of like choose it, 
Um, choose it, put it into action, follow the energy without a point of view. Yeah. And um, hey presto, it showed up. And when it didn't show up the way that I thought it would, I got angry and pissed off, but I didn't make myself wrong for it. How many of you guys make yourself wrong because it's not showing up the way that you would like to sh it to show up, the way that you've decided it will show up, in the time frame that it will show up, and the amount that you have decided it will show up? All of you, some of you, none of you. Oh, we've all Absolutely. Been yeah. So as soon as you, as soon as you uh, get disappointed with that, or it, then what you're actually doing is you're closing down the possibilities. You've been invested in the outcome. You've gone into judgment. It hasn't shown up the way that I want it. I just want a million dollars to show up in my bank account. But you're not willing to ask for it. You're not willing to choose it. You're not willing to follow the energy. You're not willing to take any action. Now, choice creates awareness. And then you, and then you as a humanoid, you have to do some sort of action. The action is what brings you, the, starts to bring you the joy and the peace and the ease of the creation. Now, you can apply this tool to anything that you want, whether it's a person. Um, now I'm not going into the wrongness. Yeah, that's what you say now. <laughs> um, no, I'm just kidding with you. Okay, so, uh, so health, um, money. And you know, one of the reasons why Gabriel and I have set up these Kiwi Conversations in Consciousness is because we're promoting a foundation class in, in January. So guess what? We're going to be using this same sort of tool to create that class. So you could, if you're a BARS facilitator, you could use this uh, to get private clients. You could use it and that would create money, yeah? So you've got to be willing to receive from all time, space, dimension, realities, and not just the small focus on what you've decided on how it's gonna show up. Cool. So all the definitions that you have of um, what money is, what money isn't, how it's gonna show up, how it's not gonna show up, would you now destroy and uncreate all of those, please? Yes. Living there, right, Ron, pop, pop, corn, iron, shorts, boys, and neons. Now, if you haven't already watched the 10 minute free Facebook Live that I did two days ago, you want to watch that because there's some really great tools to, to use with your wallet in that and start, and start choosing that. Um, now, as I said before, Gabrielle and I are having these conversations to promote our, our foundation class in Nelson in New Zealand. Um, and one of the things that we're very aware of is everybody in New Zealand is like, I haven't got the money. I haven't got the money. I haven't got the money. It's so expensive. Yeah. And what else that? is possible? Sorry? And what else is possible? <laughs> Can you get the energy of that? I mean, that's how, that's how we create our lives, by complaining. Um, when you say, I haven't got the money, what do you create? You ain't going to have money. Exactly. You, you ain't going to have money. And you ain't got the money. It's true. You haven't got the money. But we, have, we are here to give you some tools to get the money. But you've got to get over your point of view of going down to the coffee shop and spending three hours a day down there. What can you be and do today to create the money right away? And one of the things that people love to do is they've got this crazy point of view that once they got the money, they can have a life. It doesn't work that way, my friends. If you're waiting for no, the- You create the life. 
you're going to die without any money. <laughs> you know, this planet, the idea is to die. It's about all the pain and suffering and then you die at the end of it. You're all by awesome. the point of view. Let's choose that. That sounds awesome. Let's choose it. Not. <laughs> You've already chosen that. Let's choose something different. If you choose Absolutely. to die, let's choose to die with a billion dollars in your bank account. Would that be more fun? So everything is the opposite of what it appears to be. Nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be. So every time that you say, uh, uh, every time that you are waiting for the money to show up before you make your choice, what are you making the valuable product? You, the infinite being, or a dollar bill? The dollar bill. The dollar bill. It's a piece of paper or a piece of plastic these days. It's all it is. And you're making that greater than you? For what There's reason? a dollar bill. There you go. There's a dollar bill. <laughs> You've got a choice. A dollar bill or, or a hundred dollar bill. Or a hundred dollar bill or a or an hour with Gabrielle, what are you going to choose? An hour with me because I'm awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, let's, let's just do that as a little exercise. You can have a dollar bill or an hour with Gabrielle. What would you choose? Don't choose me. I'm way too much fun. <laughs> Now expand that. You can have a $10 bill or you can have an hour with Gabrielle. What are you going to choose? Now let's expand that. You can have a $100 bill or you can have an hour with <coughs> Gabrielle. What are you going to choose? Now you've got another choice. Let's expand on that. You've got $1,000 or an hour with Gabrielle. This is like playing money in the bag. Now let's, now let's expand on that even further. You've got a million dollars. You can choose to have a million dollars or you can have an hour with Gabriel. What are you going to choose? So at what point did you go, um, the money is more valuable than Gabriel? Okay. Um, <laughs> I just saw that comment. <laughs> Yeah, Lucy, you're only worth a hundred dollars to Lucy. <laughs> yeah, a hundred dollars for Lucy. Okay. Well, for myself, I got to a million. But what I'm doing is I'm 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 tricking you to all look at or uh, looking at choice. You see, everybody thinks that in this reality, choice is based on either or. You can either have Gabriel or you can have money. So, really, can I have both? Exactly. You yeah, can have both. You can both. Have Gabrielle and you can have money. How many, how many of you went into that choice until I actually asked it? Me. One. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the thing is, everywhere where you have bought that this is an either or reality, you can either have the money or you can have the choice. Will you now destroy and uncreate all of that, please? And we'll use yes. that access clearing statement. Good and bad, right, wrong, pop, pop, or no, short boys. <laughs> yeah. I asked this question of my friend, Andrew. If you had $10 billion or the choice of your wife, what would you choose? And he said both. And so everywhere where you are not willing to have both, the money and let's say the foundation class, because, you know, I'm an asshole. Can we now destroy and uncreate all of that? Could be right, wrong, pop, pop, corn, eyes, short, boys, mm -hmm. nuts. And everywhere where you're putting um, your choice to have your life only when you have the money, will you now destroy and uncreate it all? Good, bad, right, wrong, pop, pop, corn, eyes, short, boys, nuts. So if you are thinking of coming to the, the foundation class, what I suggest you do, just just for fun, is go to my website, which is, uh, maybe you could type this in, um, Gabrielle, 
www.accessconsciousness.com forward slash Liam Phillips. Okay. And um, just register for the foundation class. I don't care whether you're coming or not. Uh, just register for it and then see what shows up in the next week. Yeah. You'll be gobsmacked. Because when you, actually, when you actually choose the sausage roll, when you actually choose what you truly desire, what starts to show up is that the universe starts to show you all the places that will, and all the things and all the energies that will match what it is that you're choosing and all the possibilities start to show up. I, I have to agree with that. It's like going to COP in Washington, D.C. Which is um, yeah, I, last. Yeah. I registered to go. Had no idea how I was getting there. Never been out of New Zealand. And the universe rearranged everything and things just fell into place. And I went. And it was awesome. Yeah. Now, the thing is... No, the universe, when Gabriel chose that and he registered for that, he, he, that is the action, you see? So you guys are all sitting there choosing, oh, yeah, I'll go, oh, one day when I'll have the money, I'll go to a foundation class. No, that's a point of view. One day when I'll have the money, I'll be able to buy my farm. No, that's just a point of view. That's just pie in the sky. That's just that's just a dream. That's just a fantasy. It's never gonna it's never gonna happen. You have to put the action in it. Okay. One I'm day I'll fart rainbows. Now I'm choosing to fart rainbows. Unicorn Absolutely. rainbows. Yeah. Unicorn rainbows. Go for and it. Then as soon and then as soon as you put into action, and unless and, and in this case it's the foundation class, as soon as you register for the foundation class. The, the then you will start the, the universe will go there's an action i can work with that action i'm going to conspire <laughs> to create that for you like how cool is that yeah don't choose that don't choose that the universe will conspire yeah everywhere where you've got the point of view that the universe is against you The God is against you, that consciousness is against you, that it won't let you have what it is that you truly want, would you now be willing to destroy and uncreate all of that? Good, bad, right, wrong, pop, pop, corn, nine, mm -hmm. shop, boys, and beyonds. And everywhere where you've brought the point of view that you're not worthy to receive money, you're not worthy to receive from the universe, would you give that out? to Gabriel, because he's the angel and he'll take it away for you. I'll try to. I've <laughs> done it, yeah. <laughs> Good and bad, right, wrong, pop, pop, or nine, shot, boys and beyonds. Sometimes register doesn't mean real choice. Can you talk about choice a bit more? Well, the thing is, it's about what do you truly desire? Like the sausage roll. You know, I checked in. That's what, that was what my body wanted. It wanted a delicious sausage roll. This is what I want. This, this, okay. So after that, I, uh, I started to play with this and I started to ask my body, what, what is it that you truly desire, body? Uh, now, we all have these points of view that we would like X, Y, and Z, but have you ever asked your body what it would truly like to have? You know, I, 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 I said to my body, my point of view is I'd like to have lots of gold and diamonds and stuff. And my body's point of view was wood. I want wood. I like wood. Yeah, gold's fine, but I like wood. You know? Like, and I was depends, quite surprised with that. And then depends I Depends on what type of wood you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Good, <laughs> good solid wood. What, yeah. Pop, pop that. Yeah. But, it, you know, it has to be something that you truly desire. You know, if you don't desire a foundation class, then registering for it, it's not going to create jack shit. You're just trying to, 
you're just trying to manipulate the universe into something that you don't really desire. Right? It's got to be something that you and your body that, that you desire to have. So have a look at what it is that you'd like to create as your life. Ask your body, what would you like? Now, the cool thing is, is like a foundation class. There's all these tools in it and there's a whole segment on money. Um, that is designed to get you what it is that you desire. So if you're going, I've got no idea what I really desire, then maybe a, fan, a, a course like Foundation or Bows or something like that is actually going to assist you in finding out what that is. Huh? How many of you have bought somebody else's point of view about what it is that you truly desire? Huh? Like I'm a romantic. <laughs> Oh, stupid point of view, you know. So every time that I go into the romantic world, I'm not really living my reality. I'm I'm living I'm living. Uh, uh, You're playing in a movie, theater, you know, the opera. How many of you are living an uh, a trauma and drama life with money or relationship? Are these really your points of view about what it is that you'd like to create? So I'm going to leave you with this tool. One, choose what you truly desire. Okay. Then pod and pock everywhere where you're invested in the outcome and then take an action towards that, whatever that is like register for the class. Uh, <clears throat> three, then ask your body uh, 10 things that it would desire to have as part of its reality. And then ask your body to show you where those things are and for you to create the money for that to show up. So one of the other things that my body really likes is massage. Yeah? How often do I have a massage? Once a year. How, much, how often does my body want one? once a week. Okay, so now I'm, I'm going to be asking, okay, what, what's it going to take for that massage to show up? And body, can you now contribute to creating the money for that, please? Yeah, and then I let it go. Or what action can I take? Follow the energy. Any questions? Hmm. Any statements? And it's quiet. You can hear the moths flapping yeah, we've away. Either, we've either blown their minds or they're not interested, or they're doing the other thing of as if, if I can just get enough information, I can make a choice. No. Information only comes to you when you ask a question and that might give you some awareness. But if you're looking for information before you make your choice, it's not going to make any difference because you haven't chosen yet. And everywhere where you're putting choice behind you rather than in front of you, or let's put it another way, everywhere where you're putting the, the horse before the cart and trying to get that which you desire before you choose it, would you now be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Good, bad, right, wrong, pop, pop, all nine, short boys, means Everywhere where you're trying to create the money before you choose your life, will you now destroy and uncreate all of that? Good, and bad, right, wrong, pop, pop, all nine, short boys, and beyonds. Choice is not what you think it is. Every, everything that you think choices, will you now destroy and uncreate it all? Good, bad, right, wrong, pop, pop, all nine, short boys and beyonds. 99% of our choices are made energetically. Okay? They're not, oh, I'm going to choose this. Have you ever noticed? Now, I see a lot of people in class. I do a lot of classes. So I see a lot of people in class and they go, I'm going to choose to change this. And as soon as I know that, as soon as they say that, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The choice doesn't work like that. It's, it's more like you just choose it. 
It's an energy. It's an energetic thing. It's not what you say. So everywhere where you're trying to prove that you're choosing it, when you actually ain't, and you're just lying to yourself, will you now destroy and uncreate it all, please? Good and bare, right, rum, pop, popcorn, iron shop, boys, and beyonds. Any questions? Yeah, cool. Any questions? Who wants to know more about choice? Who wants to know more about money? Nobody wants to know about money. Because oh. if people had money, then they'd be able to change say... their life. Sorry, Brenda. Can I say something? Yeah. Um, so with this choice thing, it kind of doesn't really have thought in it. Um, there may be. I kind of, yeah, I kind of found sometimes when I just do something, I haven't actually thought about it at all. It turns out really well. Yeah, funny that. Well, How many like that. Have that? But, but don't, I don't think. think. Don't think. No. So everywhere no. where you're trying to make choice a cognitive thing, rather yeah. than just choosing, would you now mm. be willing to destroy and uncreate all of that? Yeah. Good, bad, right, run, pop, pop, go on, nice, short, boy. You know how to do it, but the thing is, what you guys do is you try to look for the formula of choice rather than be the choice and live the mm. choice. Be the energy. Be yeah. the energy. And everything that is, can we now destroy and uncreate it all? Yeah. Bear, right, run, pop, pop, corn, iron, short, boys, and beyonds. Choice is very closely aligned with what it is that you desire. So when you, when you really desire something, like ladies, when you desire a man, and you decide that you're going to have that man, that man is mincemeat. You have <laughs> chosen it. You're going to have him no matter what. You know that. They're called your husbands and boyfriends. Yeah. So, ladies, you know how to make choice. Why are you not choosing that with money? Because if you had money, you might actually you wouldn't be here. <laughs> and you wouldn't be watching us. <laughs> you wouldn't have any problems to bitch about and moan about and complain about. Yeah. Well, someone well, we'll be dirty. Okay, one at a time, sorry. Brenda? Sorry. I said we would be watching you. You're very cute, both of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, Lucy says, oh, somebody says, can I have profit? I don't know. Can you? Choose it. Just choose it. What is profit to you? Like, ask that question. What is profit to you? Is it the leftovers? If it, is it the scraps left on the table at the end of the day? Is that profit to you? How many of you are only willing to do it if it profits you? And is that really a contribution or is that the kingdom of me? Everything that is, will you now destroy and uncreate it all? Good, bad, right, run, pop, pop, corn, iron, short, boys, me, uns. Is it people that do taking, you know, what's in it for me? You know, that's not really a question. That's like, I'm not going to do it unless I get something out of it. Where's the well, it's like, in that? It's like now, this is um, the contribution of we. We're all here. We're all interacting. We're yeah. all a part of it. So everywhere where you're functioning from the kingdom of me, rather than the kingdom of we, would you now be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Good and bad, right, run, pop, pop, corn, iron, shop, boys, and beyond. Somebody says here that um, they find money dirty. Now, that's a point of view. So any point of view you have about money that pops up, use the access tool, destroy and uncreate it. Good and bad, right, run, pop, pop, corn, iron, shop, boys, and beyond, because it will stop you having money. The only way that money is dirty is if you've got that much of it, you're wiping your ass with it. <laughs> Well, what if you had $100 bills you could wipe your butt with? Yeah. What else is possible? 
<laughs> and would you be willing to receive a, a one hundred dollar bill that had somebody's wiped their butt with? No, because it'd get stuck. <laughs> there's what. There's why you have. Laundry, and I don't. Right? I wouldn't like somebody else's poo on my butt. <laughs> on your money. Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah. So but notice the energy that that was said with. Yeah. But <laughs> well, that's why. We, that's why we launder money. We launder money. So you yeah. can just wash it, reuse it. Yeah, but you, but Lucy, that that put it's a great. It, by the way, thank you for that because that's that's being vulnerable. Yeah, it's going to stop you from receiving any mm. possibility with that with that dirty money. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So I just want to finish up with a little bit uh, <clears throat> about Kingdom of We and Kingdom of Me. Um, I'm, I'm not, I can't remember if it's actually in the foundation manual now, but it is vital. Um, the kingdom of me is let's dig up this planet and sell it off to the highest bidder. And um, I just saw a, a documentary where the, the scientists rec, uh, reckon, uh, reckon that um, by the middle of next century, we, it'll be too hot and we'll have a major disaster on our hands. Uh, that's where we're heading. And that's functioning from the kingdom of me. Functioning from the kingdom of we is what can I contribute here? And part of contribution is choice and possibility. Yeah. And question. What can we create together? What can what, we create together? Yeah, and that's a good question. What can we create together here? So, so the access consciousness um, felt like foundation are these amazing tools that will start to get you to function from the contribution, the possibility, the question, um, <clears throat> so that you can start to function more from the kingdom of we. And when, when you function from the kingdom of we, what that means is that consciousness has your back. So it's always gonna look, I, look out for you. It's always gonna put you in a place where you can be the greatness of you. And the more people that choose that, that's why we, that's why we, ultimately, well, that's why I'm ultimately doing these classes. It's not for the money. It's for the, I'll have the money as well, thanks. But um, it's, it's for the sex, isn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely for the sex. It's for the consciousness. It's for the planet. You know, we're all interconnected. Believe it or not, that's called oneness. So everywhere where you're using money as a way to separate you from you, Will you now destroy and uncreate all of that, please? Good and bad, right, wrong, pop, pop, corn, nine, short, boys, and beyonds. So, you know your jobs? Choice, action, no investment in the outcome, and ask your body. Those four, those four tools will start to get you to be creating more money and more ease with money. We've got time for one question if, we, if somebody wants one. Otherwise, go and do your action and register for the class. <laughs> I'm a manipulative asshole. Yes, I am. Yeah. But I'm not manipulating you to, make, to, 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 make you, to try and take something away from you. I want you to do that so... You, you get the idea of what it's like. You can have some fun with it and see what shows up in your reality. And if you don't want to do the class, then just contact me and say, hey, I was just doing it as a, as a fun thing. Like, at least give it a week. You know? You've taken four trillion years to create all this shit. You know, at least give the universe a week for you to gift you something. This is actually trip. Well, I don't know if it is or not. That could be an interesting point of view. Okay. So, what else is possible, my friends? We're, we're going to do another call next week. What are we going to do it on next week? What are we going to do it on next week? I was thinking, let's do it on six. <laughs> Oh, let's do it on sex. Something um, interesting. 
Yeah, nobody would come to that one, though. No, they probably wouldn't, would they? It'd be way too much fun. Yeah. And everybody's got a point of view about sex, so, you know, they definitely won't come. At least you're stroking it the right way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it depends how many sausage rolls you've had, Liam. Hey? I said it depends how many sausage rolls you've had, Liam. Yeah, well, yeah, if I had a few more of those sausage rolls, I certainly <laughs> would be making a nice gravy to come with those. <laughs> now that, that laughter, that ease that you had, that means, that means that you're willing to receive. Yeah, okay. So if you went into any resistance to any of this that we've talk, talked about today, that's a place where you have a fixed point of view and it's gonna keep you from achieving a different possibility. Every time that you have a point of view, it's a place where you cannot receive. How many points of view do you have that keep you from receiving? One, two, three, four billion, five billion, more than you can count? All of those can we now destroy and uncreate it all? Good and bad, right, wrong, pop, pop, corn, iron shop, boys and beyonds. Okay, money is not what you think it is. Everywhere where you're trying to think and grow rich rather than be rich, would you now be willing to destroy and uncreate all of that? Thank you. Good and bad, right, wrong, pop, pop, corn, iron shop, boys and beyonds. Okay, love you guys, but I'm gonna go because I'm hungry and I want my sausage roll. Okay, guys, we'll send bye. this. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye-bye.